looks good, looks good. I don't understand what any of that is, but I'm sure I'll learn eventually. Why is like this not an edit? Your sound card with your MIDI controller. I have videos uh, showing how to set up. Uh, uh, this is way too high up. Okay, can I not like move it? What if I want to create one right in between? So we can pitch the kick up or we can pitch the kick down. Wow, this is a lot more meticulous than it is on Logic. I could see why people say Logic is better for actually being creative. Don't scroll so fast, dog. What the hell are you doing? I wish this stayed yellow, like how these do. I wish it stayed like that. That's so annoying how it doesn't. Hey, like who, who is in charge of the quality control at FL Studio? So, oh yeah, so you could do everything you can do on the same thing. Then why why ever use the uh, the other thing? Channel rack, why ever use that? Them off the grid. You can also add in extra sound. And why is this on top uh, in the middle? It should it should start in the middle and then it should go like a little bit longer. That's what it should be. I'm going to now use a virtual instrument to show how a instrument pattern can be made. So Wait, I'm gonna... I thought I, how do I reset it? Hmm? Do I just have to hope I get it right in the middle, perfectly in the middle? Double click, that works on Adobe. Double click doesn't do anything. I don't know why they didn't. Do I really need to delete it to. It put it back? The hell's wrong with this application? Right click, right click. I thought if you right click, you get the option. Why can I not reset? Press play. Okay, that's not at all exactly what he has going on, but whatever. Why is it like that? Why the hell is it totally different for me and for him? You would think if this guy knows everything about FL Studio, he would have known that like this kind of thing would happen if you just download it. Yeah, there's no room to really be like a creative genius on FL Studio. Everything is very formulaic. This is proving my point more, more than I ever thought it would. I don't think I'd, I thought I would have a tough time proving my point because you know, I know people that, the majority of people I know use Logic Pro. However, this is like, this is ridiculously like simple and uh, it's almost like they're forcing you to use a formula. It's almost like they're telling you, this is how you make music. Forget about being creative. This is how you do it. Uh. Wait, why? So these are the tracks. So why isn't the details like right here? Why can't I not pan and stuff right here? How come when I rename this track, why can't I just rename it in the mixer as well? Because this is that track, right? Like this track one, it should say one as well over here. That's annoying that it doesn't. It would help me keep track very, like, a lot easier. Why can't it just sync everything? Kick, 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 kick. I have to rename it four times? Every single song I make, I have to rename it four times. What a giant waste of time. It's nice in Logic Pro because it renames everything for you. Whatever instrument you pick, let's say you pick the kick, it says it here. You don't need to rename shit. Yeah, but I could understand how it would be a struggle on FL Studio to really think creatively because everything is so unorganized. This is not a well-optimized software. Like they didn't think this through very well. Probably thought this through in the beginning, but like hindsight is 2020 obviously, but you have hindsight now. Making, allowing people to put multiple instruments in one track layer, that's stupid. Yeah, it, it makes things cooler in one way and it's got a benefit in one way because you can simplify this, but it also adds like a thousand different problems because then you don't know, okay, wait, is my is my effect that I put on here, is it affecting all of these or is it just affecting some of these or, or whatever? It's like a, making sure that each of these tracks are all separate instruments is the way to go when making music and grouping them together like group with above track, that's a good idea. Ungroup and then making it so that like effects can be grouped and making things node-based, that seems like a great way to go. But allowing people to do this, this whole chain rack thing is stupid. It should be, it should be. I double click on this, it opens the thing. That's it, that's it. And if I wanna play an instrument, right? If I wanna play an instrument, create a pattern, I click the piano roll on whatever layer I'm on. It should, I don't, okay. I guess that means it's selecting the layer, but it should select the layer and then I should 
maybe hit the paintbrush on here and then start painting. Or maybe it, it should open up a piano roll right here on the bottom and I should be able to start painting it. Whenever I click on a layer, it should show me the different piano roll. Every time, let me see if it does that. So for this one, if I click on this, Okay, so it's not it's not changing. It's not okay. So it's showing me what it's showing me this thing that I'm on. That's that's stupid. You won't even need this entire panel if you just force people to make sure that each layer is a different instrument. It'll allow people to have a much clearer view of everything. And if you do that, they won't even need to like. I look at people's projects. This is confusing and stupid. I look at people's projects in Logic Pro. I could see what everything is and I understand what every single instrument is just by looking at it. I don't even need these names. It's actually pathetic the way the FL Studio is set up here. Because this is, yeah, you have to name everything. Because it's so confusing. If you don't name everything, you're going to get confused in larger projects. Oh, and Logic Pro does allow you to put multiple instruments in the single layer. It just doesn't encourage it. It doesn't do it by default. By default, you click here, it'll create the new thing, and then you start painting your, oh, let me put this here, these hi-hats with these velocities and that all stuff. And you start painting it and it shows up. Uh, the channel rack will give us a, 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 a fast way to click in our notes or you can go the, the, the more advanced way. I'll first start by- <laughs> More advanced way. Like the normal way to make music, the more advanced way is more creative. It opens up more op options for you. You know, when you learn how to draw, you know what they'll tell you to do? They'll tell you, take a sheet of paper, and don't draw across the whole thing. Draw like in like this, in like this small of a square. And that way, you know, as you're drawing, you're not mentally confined. You have to think about the mental limitations that these things have. Because when you're mentally confined, you're going to start cutting things off and going like, no, no, no. But if you, if you only have the drawing in here, you start to go like, okay, this the chair is kind of outside of what I'm drawing. I'll just continue it. And you keep drawing and you keep going. There's little like, the mind is fickle. You have to understand how to properly use the mind to its fullest potential. How to take your how to how to make proper decisions. One part of your mind needs to make the right decisions for the other part of your mind, which is the creative parts, which is amygdala, monkey brain, which is a lot like a lot more skilled uh, in its abilities. But it doesn't it doesn't know how to make decisions. It doesn't it doesn't make decisions at all. It doesn't decide what to do. Like you deciding to freestyle is the smarter part of your brain telling the monkey part of your brain freestyle. You look at brain scans, MRI scans, fMRIs of people who are freestyling, it's all monkey brain. It's all rudimentary because they get enough practice to where they get good at it. It's like learning how to drive basically. And the skills that you learn have limitations to them, mental limitations. It's incredibly flexible. Your mind is incredibly flexible. I don't recommend learning music on this kind of application. There's mental limitations on this. Don't consider it the advanced way. No, that is the limitless way to make music. This is limited. That's what you look at this as. Let's type in drums and give it a nice little color. Wow, you have to rename it every... That's actually stupid if people do this. If people work like this, that's stupid. Wait, they're both called Earth Red? Over it would be really convenient if these were gone in the piano thing. You know, if they were just in this pattern. That would be very convenient and very clear for me so that I don't have like 50,000 different patterns. Otherwise, what's even the point of having multiple layers? Really think about it. The, the point of it is so that you can separate out things like effects and whatnot, but then why wouldn't you just have it all separated out? Why would you need this at all? Why not work entirely through this and have this channel rack just be this playlist here and then um, allow people to uh, add effects and things and, and export each individual thing that stems on here. Like, why overcomplicate it? I don't understand. I don't understand. If you're going to do this, if you're going to want to get the benefits of having things like this, at least get rid of all the instruments on here, so that way, if I have a giant project with 100 instruments, and I want to, you know, make like five layers of things, I don't have to go through and see 100 instruments when I'm scrolling through this. Why is it all the way over there? I thought like, okay, if you're going to have the convenience, if you're gonna have the convenience of being able to know this and then this key is gonna be this and they're gonna be in between each other. It's like this and this, and this one is in between it, but it's really not. S is not in between Q and W. A is in between Q and W. 
thoughtless. Like, who's the money going to at FL Studio? Like, what idiots are actually making the software? That's not it at all. That's not the notes that he's playing, but it literally says the same exact thing. I'm in the same octave and everything. Tell me that's not the same. A, A sharp D. This is the same notes. I'm so confused. Listen to the way he sounds. I don't care. I don't even care. Shift. How stupid can the developers be? It's alt. It's alt to duplicate. Wow, that doesn't work. Does it do nothing? Then why not make it do that? Let's let's select it. This is not so this is selecting it, right? This is okay. What else would that be if it's not selecting? Okay. Let's select it. No way shift is what does it. And alt does nothing. Why not just change it? Why not just change it to industry standard on Photoshop, on Final Cut, on every other, on Audacity, on every single platform that uses any kind of creative endeavor. Alt is making a copy of something. That's what it always is. It's never shift. I want to talk to like the, the FL Studio devs. I mean, if there's any left, you know, they probably all got fired because they're probably making so much money at this point. They're like, uh, people will buy our application no matter how like bad it is. They're, they're a complete idiot. Like the guys who run FL Studio are probably like aware that their application sucks. And they're probably like, oh yeah, these guys, all they do is download FL because how easy it is to make music on it very formulaically. And so, um, you know, these like trap artists, these like high school rappers who, who don't want to actually put in the efforts to like make good music, they're just going to download FL because everybody else has to download FL. We have the, you know, cultural advantage here. And, uh, yeah, we're not going to care about like supporting the community or like adding any. They probably did all the development and they probably don't even have any developers anymore. They're probably all gone. So I'm like, I'm like, I want to talk to developers. Where? They're all, they're done. There are none left. They're done developing. And now these guys, whenever they want to like release an update, they're like, oh, uh, there's a bug on this one. Uh, uh, can we hire somebody on Fiverr to do it? Okay, yeah, cool. Get somebody to do it for cheap. And then, um, We'll release it as a new update and there we go boom fl studio 20.2 point whatever you know done because like why would they pay developers if they could just have passive income rolling in from all these like stupid high school rappers wanting to learn how to produce and uh going to this application rather than learning like actual good applications so now, now let me make this clear i like this but this is not the right way to like make music like you calling yourself a musician doesn't now, I like how this is, there's the option for this. Um, I don't know if Logic actually has an option for this. I would like it if it does. If anything, this is like a very simple way to get quick because a lot of people who make music, they want, oh, I want to, okay, do the same thing that I do every single time. I got to know what to do. Like if, if they know what to do for, and they have like repetitive stuff, um, which a lot of artists do, and they just want to put it all together very simply, very easily. And these are like on beat, you know, they're on point. So obviously like this is a very useful tool. It's very handy that they have this, but to have it as a default is a stupid idea. Well, it's not a stupid idea on their part. They're the most popular application because they appeal to like the normally fan, like masses, mass audience who like doesn't actually want to like do any sort of work to make music, but just make like very generic, simple shit. And then be like, yo, we making out the hood when they don't even live in the hood and they live in the, like a suburban, like, going to a nice school and everything. That's the kind of audience that FL Studio appeals to. But um, enough with the slander. This is a very useful tool. I, w I wish, I mean, I, I hope uh, Logic Pro has it. If it doesn't, then they're, they're lacking. They're, they're missing some features. But this is not the way you make music. Control Alt Z? Who the hell does Control Alt Z? It's Shift Control Z. I wish it, I wish there was like a, it's stayed highlighted whenever the thing is on the screen, you know, the same way these are highlighted when they're on. Doesn't that make sense? Doesn't that just make sense to have that? It's like, you can't be someone who uses other software, who's like good with computers and also enjoy using FL Studio. Like you can't have both at the same time. That's really annoying. I wish there was a way to scroll left and right. Like, you know how in Premiere you could just do like control scroll or alt scroll or whatever, and it'll zoom in and out. One will zoom in and out, one will scroll up and down, and then one will scroll left and right. It's like, I wish that, that was the case in here. It's really annoying to, whatever. Like, you shouldn't have the, the, the scroll wheel um, 
like making edits like that because it's it destructive it could be not destructive but it could be like um the like control and alt and shift and scroll wheel should be used for navigation like how it is in unreal engine and all these other applications you know it should it should be used for navigation that way it's like you're never actually editing anything you never do something unintentionally when you click the wrong key because people use different keyboards different computers it's it's just i feel like it's just bad like software practice to allow these things to make edits they should just be used for navigation everything else can be used for edits oh look, look. i own a guitar and it's acoustic and jazz and like um i go on the keyboard or uh, not keyboard orchestral and it's like this stuff i go on the bass and and it's like there's stuff in here for like for like metal and rock and all this stuff but it's like the, the most popular genre of music in the world today is rap and hip-hop why don't people include rap and hip-hop sounds in here like default like standard rap and hip-hop sounds I'll do this right here, and then I'll make a second layer of that. I'll make a second layer, and I'll make this one quieter. I know how to control the noise of, of tracks and logic, maybe if I expand it. But then in this one, it's all about mixes, so it'll do the same thing to both instruments, and it'll change. This is what I mean. It's like you're encouraged to make like simpler music. You're not encouraged to like be a little bit creative. I'm sure there's a way to do it. There's gotta be a way to do it. I'm not going through the effort of doing that. You know, maybe on something like Logic, where uh, it's a bit of a better software, I'll actually try to be a bit creative, but on this, screw creativity. Oh, wait, I can't do things by layer. Okay, fine. I'll drag this one in over here. Seven. And I'll make another pattern. Okay, fine. I'll do that same thing again. I don't, don't know why any of this would be necessary if I could just use this as my mixer basically what the hell is even the point of multiple tracks then how to edit volume fl studio something so simple volume in a in a program that is made for creating music for synthesizing audio how the hell can you control the volume of a track let's see what's up guys it's unders and in i always hear automation i always hear like oh this is automation this is not automation stop calling it automation Get with the rest of the industry, like the entertainment industry as a whole. This is not what automation is. I guess I have to search up automation. I didn't think I would have to, but it's so stupid. So don't ever call like the dun, 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 dun. don't ever call that automation. You notice I'm open-minded about these things. When I'm music mogul said like ghost note and that sort of thing. These are things that I don't hear, but I'm like, you know what? I understand. If you're gonna say that, you know what? If I hear that enough times, I might start saying it too. Automation literally means other things. You can automate like music tasks and things like that. Don't use automation for a different word like that. What I mean by this is if we automate. I'm saying very simple task. Let me keyframe the audio. 